Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1996, uh, developed by those guys there, Nico Dim. It is homebrew. I have played this before. I played this about three years ago. We do have some decent AY chip sound going on here. I think, as far as I can tell, this is 1 to 8K only, but yeah, I played it about three years ago. There you go. See, I don't know what language it's in, but it's clearly not an English. Uh, develop ROM or game, but screw it, Homebrew is cool, and if it's up to the Russians to carry on providing us with new software for the ZX Spectrum, I'm alright with that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to play it again, be hey, we got the intro, because, is, is Jafar going to come in? Oh, he's going to teleport him. And there's his magical egg timer. Uh, yeah, I wanted to play it again because I'm playing as many versions of Prince of Persia as I possibly can at the moment. Since I can't play the Commodore 64 version because it won't work on my C64 Mini or any emulator that I try, because even though it says it's a D64 ROM file, uh, it asked me to do something else. And I haven't got a Scooby always talking about. So I thought we'd have a look at this. So anyway, you know the story. The Sultan is away. His daughter is kidnapped by Jafar. He wants her to marry him. Uh, she's got an ad to do so or she will die. Uh, and you are her bloke and you're going to rescue her. Right, so, fire. Don't know why it has those loading screens. There's no sound in the game, so I do apologise for the background noises. I do live on the busiest road in the West Country, and that is with double glazing, so trust me, if it annoys you, it sucks far more to be me. Um, passcode to the left. Anyway, but it's not terrible graphics. Um, the animation seems to be there. Uh, bottom left is my energy. Anyway, so let's get into it. I'm assuming, if what I remember is correct, it's Q up. Yep, A down, space is fire, so we got that, shuffle, and then forward up and fire, is jump, can I do it from the spot, no, this is going to be a problem, a massive problem, I can't remember this was a problem the last time I played it, so we have to run and jump, that can't be right, yeah, that's right. I can go across here though, can't I? Right, let's go across. No sound? Weak! Turn around. Turn around. Drop down. There we go. Angry bloke with sword. Angry bloke with sword. So this shows that they could have done this back in the day. I mean, there's a... I think the Amstrad version is official. Up, uh, Shah. Right. And then... Jump. And then hold this. These jumps are going to become massively, massively difficult because I can't jump from the spot. Jump. No! Right, opening it. Jump. It feels weird not having that uh, colours. Is it a port colours noise? Don't know. Gonna have to jump, Shah. Right, run, jump. No. Okay, this is gonna end in tears. Go back. Run, jump. I tried to leave them intact. I say that in every version I play. Why is there no sound? Oh, this is not gonna happen. Jump. There must be a way to jump from the spot because I'm not going to make any of these fucking jumps, am I? Let's just go down here. I don't care about my health. Yada, yada, yada. I can't remember how far I got last time. I think the video is at least 10 minutes long, so. Right, get up, you pussy. Right, that's very strange. I think I got a hand on it. Forward, then immediately up, 
and then jump. Oh, I'm not going to try it, sure. Yeah, that's right. I died there, but I kind of, I kind of got it. I think I've got it. I've got shit. I'm not going to lie. Right. So, but we're going to have to practice it because I shouldn't do that. Because if, and it's a big if, I make it back, um, I'm going to need health to fight that bloke. But yeah, the animation's all right. Uh, the colours are a bit meh, but we got Prince of Persia. Right. So let's try it like this. At least it, you control this, unlike the NES version. Right, I think, I think I've got this. Bit of attribute clash there going on. Sexy attribute clash. Don't act like you don't like it. Everyone likes a bit of attribute clash. If you own the spectrum. Right, I'm all about practicing my jumps. Oh, keep moving it. You can't hold it down. Right, so I don't know if I'm going to make that jump. I don't know. Kind of got it. <laughs> that was not my intention. That was my intention. But I'm not dead, so I'll take that. Right. New... Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, go the bottom way. There's the sword. The Eye of Thundera. Thank you for leaving me a sword in your dungeon. It's very much appreciated. Stop. Oh, sound. Now you give me sound. That's a bit lame. Put a chicken in. Make a game lame. Point to the quote. No, I don't want to do that. It's a fucking easy one. It's just very relevant. Right. Yoink. Does that hurt me? No! I didn't... Oh. They aren't the worst controls I've ever played in this, but they certainly aren't the best. And the jump mechanic certainly takes a bit of getting used to. If I can just beat level one, that's all I want. Right, that. It does have that feeling that it wants to do what it wants to do. And it doesn't care about you or anyone you care about. But it's homebrew, so I'm going to cut it far more slack than any of the other versions that were all official. Because, well, this is free. Keep going, keep going. See, I don't like jumping now. That is a very peculiar way to jump. Not going to lie. Also, has it flashed my time up yet? I must have time. Turn around. Drop. Turn around. Oh yeah, over here. I always forget that. Softly, softly. Catchy monkey. It's the overlap on his jump in every single version I don't like. Oh, that worked. Did that. It still knows there's a hole there, though, so that's cool. Uh, so it doesn't drop. I mean, you, you go to the edge, even though there's a... Something covering... No! Why are you doing that? Right. Well, no, I'm going this way. If it just had sound effects. Music on the smallest loop ever. That would be appreciated. Right. Because obviously you can have it. You've just shown that. Yoink. Run into the wall. Right. On fire. Jumping in this game. I don't have to worry about that, do I? Still makes me very anxious. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look, that was cool. I didn't know you could do that. 
Run. There we go. Oh, this is not going to happen, is it? I think I probably need... Oh, no, it is. See what I mean? Your jump can be very deceptive. It looks like you're going to fall. Sometimes it looks like uh, you're going to overshoot. It's, it's quite precise, oddly enough. Right, that's a very... Why didn't you do it? I play, you'll see what I mean. He's going to pull his sword out. Again, that's a euphemism for his penis. No! What the fuck? Why does... You pull your sword out and then... I don't fucking know what he's doing. This could have been really good, but the controls let it down. Especially, what the fuck was he doing with the fighting guy? Fighting the guy? Guy. Buddy? Hey? Buddy guy? Oh! No idea how I did that. I don't want to try it. No! Again. The thing is, with your sword, can I come out of that screen? I don't think I can. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Don't press up or down when you've got your sword. That's what I've learned. Oh, that worked. I've got so much practice at this level recently, so if I suck at it, you can tell Aye! that it's the controls. Both fall down. Thank you. You'll be doing me a favour. Why did you overshoot? Come on. No! Yeah, I'm having issues. Sometimes they work, and sometimes the controls are just wholly unresponsive. I've got an itchy face. Right. You can hear from the light. It's like a triple tap motion. It's very odd. I'm not. Now I've got it down. I'm not taking running risks. And there's no double key, uh, double switch, double, well, that's what it is, it's keys, isn't it? But, yeah, double switch. Run! Oh, I fucked this up. Oh, I no idea how I did that. Get the platforms to fall, because it's easier to do a standing from the... Oh, from a stop position jump. Right. Yeah, all it needs is a little tightening of the controls and uh, some sound effects. Thank you! That was clunky as tits, not gonna lie. Right. I laugh at your security, Jafar. Right, okay. Is that it? Oh, cutscene! Cutscene. Why are there two tanks for the slime? Skip. You're not loading anything. So we got the next level. I got the sword, haven't I? And I have no idea where to go. I'm gonna go down here though. Go away. I don't wanna fight you. I wanna go down sure. I really doubt this is the way to do it, but Oh look, my lives are on the right. Turn around, drop. 
That can't be. I think you've got to press grab. I'm going to try and kill this bloke. Yeah, right. I'm going to press up when I fall and hope for the best. It's probably the wrong way, but my last chance of doing this... No, you're not going to do that. But I can't fight you because my sword controls are shit. And they're not even out. Why have you not drawn your sword? It's basically as frustrating as every other version of Prince of Persia. But is there a version that's not frustrating? Why are you not drawing your sword, you fucking pussy? Right. Stay sure. Oh, this is gonna fucking kill me, isn't it? I can't. He's too close. Yeah, this game is broken. The controls are broken. You can tell what it is. It's homebrew. It could have been a contender. Pull your sword. I'm too close. Why aren't you fucking... That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I think I've had flashbacks of why I fucking stopped playing this the first time around. It could have been good. It could have been good. Can't complain. It is free. Uh, it is on the spectrum. But it does have massive control issues, particularly with your fucking sword and that stupid stationary jump. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you it. If you have played this, I'd be quite surprised. Uh, but I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.